guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity. So I had a recent YouTube request for me to take a look into the Neverwinter Nights game. So the first game I'm going to try out for now because I had the most success is Neverwinter Nights 2. So just so you know, if you have this game, you are sort of forced to connect to the Bioware servers first before you can play the land. And I guess that's implemented in process partly you know to help protect the game sales and all that stuff however I wanted to do it so that we could play LAN without having to connect to the Bioware servers and we are going to do it through the simple disconnect trick so yes I have tested it with my laptop machine it works great uh, for all purposes of time uh, we're using a fresh install of the game but if you want to install the latest version to play with your friends or other tunglers by all means go ahead I'm just being lazy today so we're going with the stock version but you don't have to. Alright, so here I am in the Tungo room, in the Neverwinter Nights room. There's not a number two network, but it will be created in the future. But here I am with my laptop, so what are we going to do is, let me just load up the Neverwinter Nights 2 game, like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to record in window mode today, so that I will have an easier time showing you the disconnect trick in process, and yet I'm not uh, BSing you guys. So, should be good times. Alright, so here's the trick. So you go to multiplayer, go ahead and type in a username and maybe you can type in a fake password. Now at this point what I want you to do is do the disconnect trick. So what that means is disconnect from the internet. I have a wireless USB adapter so I'm going to disconnect it right now and click on sign in. And it's going to try to authorize me, it's going to fail, but at the next screen we can go back and host the LAN, which I'll show you shortly. Notice in the bottom right hand window here my network connection is now no internet access. If you have a Ethernet card or something like that, just disconnect your Ethernet cable. So what we're going to do is just wait for this connection status to show up a new message. At that point, then we will reestablish the internet connection. Now I have already done this on my laptop machine ahead of time, so my laptop is just waiting. We have this message. I'm plugging in my USB network adapter right now, and I press OK. So if I go back to the Tungo room, what we will notice here is that momentarily it's going to say that I was disconnected from the Tungle server. And yes, it does take Tungle a little bit of time to show this disconnect message. You can sort of see that I have been practicing a little bit earlier before this video session today. But what happens is once you have reestablished the internet connection, it will automatically connect you back into Tungle. So look, right here it says lost connection to the Tungle server. And then let's say within a minute minute and a half, um, it will reconnect me back to the Tungo server. Alright, so what do we need to do here inside the actual game? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say new game. If you want to be a client, let's say you wanted to connect to me, this is what my laptop machine would do today. He would basically connect to my IP address, uh, 7092.190, and it's important that Ah, oh, crap. Hold on a sec. 7092.190. Got to turn on numlock. And then my port. Now, this port here is my, actually my Tungle port. So it's very important that you have your game port match your Tungle port, which is also port forwarded. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please watch my port forward video. So this is what my laptop would do. He would type in my address like so and press OK, and then he would be connected to my machine. So what I'm going to do is say new game. And here I'm, uh, I have it default as Tungo. And notice that my server port is 11155, which also matches my Tungo port and is open in my router. So now I click on Next. And then I say New Module or whatever you got going on, say Start Module. It's going to try to do this, attempting to find server. And then it found it locally. I'm going to select my character, select my versatile ninja that I created locally. And in the background here, notice that in Tungle, I am back in action. Tungle automatically reconnected me. If Tungle does not reconnect you, um, I don't have an answer for that. Just visit the Tungle forums, and the Tungle guys can help you out in an instant. Okay, so here is the game. So I'm inside the game right now. So what I'm going to do is, on my laptop account, I'm going to tell it to connect right now. Like so. It's just said it found the server. It's attempting to log in. And momentarily, what will happen is we'll see a laptop's name show up in this bottom left-hand corner. Um, 
So it's going to come up. I've got to select a character on the laptop right now. Click on Start Game on the laptop account. And right now, the laptop is in the process of connecting. So let me take my guy here. Oh, here we go. It says laptop has joined as a player. Sweet. And this is just an NPC talking to me. And then momentarily what's going to happen is we'll see a body. Now i got to talk to this guy. Great. Uh, continue, continue, continue. And here we go. Here's my laptop. Versatile laptop. And that's it. So let me just exit this game because there's nothing else to do here. Uh, we do know that land portion works. And I just told you how to bypass the BioWare server. So that's really good times. So in a nutshell, all you got to do is start the game. Uh, make sure you have port forward to UDP 11155, and then just follow my video. If you're the host, you do what I do. Um, if you're the client, then just do a direct connect. It doesn't show up in LAN for some reason, but direct connect works perfectly. If you have any other questions, go ahead and leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.